Elizabeth, I need a word. I already spoke to uh, Nurse Dubois, but he was clueless. Well, if Felix couldn't help you, I doubt I'll be able to. I need the blood work on a criminal that was admitted last night. Mr. Diamond, I'm sorry, I can't release patient information to a non-relative. Well, Mr. Diamond may not be family, but Alice Gunderson is, and she's dying. She needs a new heart. And if that brain-dead criminal is a match, he can supply her one. I understand the urgency of the situation. However, the rules are very clear. I am not asking for a full medical report. I just want to know his blood type so I know whether or not to pursue Even this. Even if HIPAA allowed me to disclose that information, Mr. Diamond's test results are not back yet. Oh, well, when might that be? Weber. What do you want the labs on that Mickey Diamond guy? Who says the GH lab can't be efficient and prompt on occasion? Whoa, wash the hands, Grabby. Can I see that? Come on, Tracy, those are private medical records. I am on the board. I can have the two of you dismissed with one word, <sighs> with prejudice. You wanna look at these labs? Take it up with the boss lady. She is behind closed doors with the hospital attorneys dealing with the fallout from that teenage druggie's death. You did not just say that. Oh, I am so sorry if I'm less than tactful. I'm saving a good friend's life. Okay, okay. Look, look, I might be able to get Dr. Obrecht a message. If you would like to go wait in her office, you're more than welcome to do that, or go sit with Alice in her room. Either way, I will come find you when I hear something. Does that sound reasonable? You know, there was a time when the Quartermain name meant something. Clearly, that is no longer the case, and I will be forced to wait for that foolish woman to make time to see me. Wow. Next time, save me the trouble and give me what I want. Let me get this straight. You're playing Marvel team-up with an eight-year-old to snag Nicholas? I don't know what Marvel team-up is, but yes, Spencer and I are working together. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're amused. <laughs> that is one ballsy move. Making a fake runaway of Spencer, enlisting your mom to keep Elizabeth underwater at work while Nicholas cries on your supportive shoulder. Then at a moment of maximum payoff, you find Spencer. Nicholas is so grateful he gives Elizabeth the old heave-ho, and boom, you and the prince are reunited, and it feels so good. Genius. I know. Why are you so miserable? Because I can't stand what it's doing to Nicholas. I have to tell him the truth. You want to tell Nicholas the truth? Now? When your diabolical plans finally get in someplace? Sheesh. Talk about snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. Yeah, because my plan is working too well. Nicholas is in agony. And I remember when my mother took Ben how I felt. I, could, I couldn't sleep. I could barely breathe. Now I'm putting the man I supposedly love through the exact same hell? Why did I think this was a good idea? I don't know what to tell you. How about taking some responsibility? Me? What did I do? It was your bright idea to revert to the bridge. You said it was the way back into Nicholas's heart. No one twisted your arm, all right? And for the record, having Spencer run away? Now my idea. <sighs> I know. If you really feel that bad, just go with your first impulse. Tell Nicholas the truth. Yeah, and give up on any hope for a reunion. You have to decide. How long can you torture Nicholas in the name of getting him back? I don't know what to do. To bridge or not to bridge? That is the question. Just once, just... What's Brad doing here? Not that I don't understand the hostility, but I didn't break in here. I asked Brad to come. I needed to talk to him about something. N now I need to talk to you. What about? Bringing Spencer home. <laughs>